I want to really um, talk about the two points really to ponder. One is, as we look, as we start to bring this to a close and then have time for questions, we may even get out early today. Um, but the first point is that love languages plus trauma playbooks get your traumatized clients and families unstuck with the smallest possible healthy undercurrent change. In this case, the, the family starts to bowl um, during Jean's lunch hour. Jean starts to tell me, I realize that I can't just keep doing schooling and, um, you know, uh, not be there for the family. I can't check out. The marriage starts to get better again. And you'll hear the mom make this comment at the end of, it brings us back to where we were as a family. It's the smallest possible change. That's why I love systems theory, because when you throw a pebble in a pond, it ripples out to other things. I didn't even do marital work, and the marriage was getting better. The second one that I want you to ponder today is that after the intervention that works, that's tied to the love language, the knee bone is connected to the thigh bone, et cetera, clients have a simultaneously hopeful, hopeful shift in emotions, insight, and behavior. And sometimes clients have to act their way into a new way of thinking. This is why people tell me all the time, this is a great model that's a complementary fit to another model of change I like, which is trauma-focused CBT. What you're doing, Scott, is you're changing the dance systemically through these playbooks, but it's changing the cognitions. So I used to, I was always taught the first way to change someone who's stuck is to get them to think their way into a new way of acting, which was insight treatment. But a less known way that's equally powerful is to get people to act their way into a new way of thinking. So when you get resistance from people saying, you know, I, I, I don't buy what you're selling, I don't think I can do it, I'm like, that's okay. Would you do an experiment? Because I know that cognitions, or th where the mind goes, the person follows. So if I can't change the mindset through talk therapy, what I have in my toolkit is to be able to change people's thought life by acting their way into a new way of thinking. That, that blew my mind that I could blend cognitive behavioral therapy seamlessly with systems work. And to me, it just, it catapulted uh, practice with these very, very difficult, complex trauma families. Mm -hmm.